right. True story number two. This is when I went to court on two tabs in a fluorescent fucking flamingo shirt and represented myself. So this story has about five stubs, sub stories in it, but I'm going to get to all these stories. I love it. I'm going to tell everything now that I'm sober. I don't care. I reckon it's fucking hilarious. All right. So I was at this bender. Us Aussies, for some reason, we like doing stunts. Like, I'm going to have to explain this one again in a later date. Basically, I had a massive gash on my head about that big. I had a massive gash on my foot that got infected because I was playing in a storm water drain looking for a bottle of vodka I dropped. That's another story for another time. I ended up getting stuck in the drain. And I had a broken rib. So I could barely walk. I was fucked up on acid. It was about 7 in the morning. And I needed something to charge me up. So I dropped two more tabs. It used to be like Red Bull for me back then. I was a fucking animal. Anyways, I go home, stop past my house. I look for my nicest clothes. I'm usually just rocking Adidas trackies. Adidas, if you're watching this, sponsor me. All day I dream about substance abuse. But anyways, fucking... Um, so I look in my cupboard and it's all just... I wouldn't say I was a lad, but I, I dressed like a bit of a dag. And... So I see this, um, I'm sorry, it's extra large. I see this large Hawaiian shirt with flamingos all over it. Um, skinny jeans from when I was a skater boy. And the only shoes I could fit in were my brother's size 13 Nikes because my foot was fucked. I could barely walk. I had some fucked up infection from this drain, right? Um, so I go to court. I represent myself. I'm Tell them I've quit drugs, all this shit. Meanwhile, I'm tripping out. You know the scene off 21 Drum Street where the dude's eyebrows are like fucking doing this shit? It was like that. The court's not even the exciting part of this story. But anyways, I got off with a good behaviour bond. Then I had to go print something from the library. And around that time, I had beef with this Asian dude. Apparently, he was Asian Mafia. Let's just say I sold a lot of Xboxes back then, and he sold a lot of Xboxes, and I wanted to take his Xboxes, so I did. So I noticed I'm getting followed by a Kiwi dude and a Lebanese dude. doesn't matter what nationality they are, to be honest. And they were like, you Jake Kelly? I was like, yeah, what's up? And they go, you know him? I was like, yep. And they're like, come with me to the park. I was like, I just finished court, let me print off my shit. Went up, printed my shit, came down, and they're waiting for me. I'm like, oh, fuck. Usually I don't mind a good scrap. I'm not saying I'm a good fighter or anything. Look at my nose. It's fucking it's about as plumb as the pipes I used to lay when I was a plumber. But this time I did not want a bar of it. I was fucked. I could barely walk. Rib was broken. Gash in my head. Tripping out. So I was trying to avoid this fight, right? And then they ended up just jumping me, taking my wallet. And yeah, I'm going to end this here because there's about five different stories I can tell. But that's trip story number two. Representing myself in court on acid.